Miranda de Cristal. Let's talk about it. So it started off as like a, a web series. Yes, like a chapter of a web series. It's, uh, we were making um, a web series called No Podrás Dormir Esta Noche. That means you won't sleep tonight or something like that. And each episode was supposed to pay an homage to a different subgenre of horror. Um, and it crystallized or Mirada Cristal was going to be like the third chapter. And we started filming it. And a friend of ours, Tamay Garategui, who was also a movie director in Argentina, uh, saw the two episodes and she loved them. And she asked what we were, what else, what we were doing. And she told me, she told us that that chapter has to be an, a, a long story, a feature film. Uh, so we added some scenes and stuff, and here we go. Here and it was that easy to, to actually no. make it into no, a no, 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 not at all. <laughs> it was hell. <laughs> But well, we did it. Uh, yeah. So because uh, the story, uh, as a short film, was a, a, a little bit of ambitious right. uh, because we didn't have any budget and we did it all ourselves uh, with the help of our friends. So um, we didn't, we we, we couldn't uh, back up from what we already have sh uh, right. filmed. So we said, well, what the hell? We're going to do it anyway. And we, it took uh, like two years to complete the movie because of not having a budget and doing everything by ourselves. So we balanced then no money with like working our souls off. A lot of work. Mm. And, but. So, but, we, so, but you had to make sure the actresses and everyone were available, surely. They that was the worst, yes. Uh, 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 to make sure they, they were available, to make sure they didn't cut their hair, they didn't <laughs> die. They didn't go to another planet, uh, <laughs> all of that, uh, yes. But um, like the actors and the actresses were like uh, really cool to us and they were always trying to be They available. were compromised with the mm. project, yeah. so. Okay, here's the, here's the co-director question, which you, I'm sure everyone asks. How do you work it out? What happens? Who um, does what? Most, no, we, we like co, we did everything together, but basically. Um, we sometimes, one do, something and the other do other thing but we like uh, talk to each other a lot and there's a lot of conversation <laughs> for doing yeah. anything right and we agree most of the most times. of the time and where we didn't agree uh, like the movie is the like uh, our egos were like left behind and the movie is like the important thing of what we were doing so uh, we didn't care who the best idea was so if it works for the movie it's such a labor of love. I mean, it yeah. looks incredible. It's so Thank beautiful. You. That's one of the reasons why I loved it so much. I think when I wrote to you the yeah. very first time, I mean, it does have that Suspiria look. I mean, yeah. There's no question of that. I mean, that must have taken ages to replicate. Yes. Well, the, 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 the first thing we did was like the Lucia Lucello uh, office. And we were like two, almost two months. Two months. Doing that. Because we did everything from scratch. All the walls, the windows, the, 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 the desk where she's sitting on, uh, everything uh, was made from... Uh, we painted the floors, it was... And that office, it's actually my house, it's my living room. So I lived two months in those <laughs> red walls and no windows and there's no sunlight. It was... And he, has, he, he had two cats back then and the cat used to crawl. All over Crawl the, the, over the because wall because the, the walls were made of uh, um, foam. I don't know the. the I, I don't know what you mean. Yeah. Well, and uh, they scratch all the walls, and it was like a nightmare. We had to fix them every time. It was like living in a fan house or a horror yeah. haunted house. But well, here we are. We, sur we survived. So, what would you say is the biggest? Because in the interview that you did, we I read that it was like nothing underneath and Barber, and it's like a mixture of everything, all the Italian genre, jealous, we, we, like. um, you just take it, when, what you like, you take. It's not like we, we say, well, we're going to do a giallo, let's watch giallo and see what we're going to do. It's like everything is in, like, inside us, uh, because we grew up watching mm -hmm. this kind of movie, so it's like natural, uh, the, like the knots and the, and the wings to other things. Mm. Um, but yes, we, we, we watched like, um, Blood and Black Lace was one of the big references mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. Um, well, um, a lot of movies. Mm. Nothing underneath. Yes, or, and also well, that's the fashion side. But that's the fa yes. something underneath is the fashion show side. Yes, isn't it? Yeah. but we also saw. Um, oh my God, I can't remember. David Bowie, The Hunger. 
The hunger is also a big reference in the 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 the, 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 the beginning of the of the movie. Yes. That's also, um, hello, Mary Lou from Night yeah. Two. From Night Two. Yeah. yeah. But Love why not movie. Argentine films? I mean, I, I know there are some, but why, yes. did you, why did, you, did you feel you had to look outside of your own culture instead because of re referencing your own horror films? But, um, which are interesting. Some of them are great. Nazis of Ibn is for a start. I, mean, you know. I yes. think we, 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 there are some references like the, the telefilms and the telenovela and, uh, and the way they act and the way the they move. Yes, yeah. The soap yeah. operas. Yeah, soap opera. There's some reference. But I think that. Uh, in Argentina, the like the horror culture and it's like still growing. Mm. So most of the things we saw when we were kids were from North America, U Europe. So I we think were that's, that's the reason. Very influenced by everything from outside. And also because, um, it, like as, as as we said before, the the, the movie was supposed to be a, an episode, and the episode was like an European uh, uh, tribute. Uh, the the rest of the um, the chapters have like uh, more like um, reference to to Argentina TV shows, uh, so maybe that's that's why I, we, I never thought of, about it, but I think that's the reason. I mean, I, you, there isn't a real. I mean, we're seeing more and more Argentine films now. I mean, yes. every year we show more. Yes. I mean, yes. like from Javier Dement for, to to Damien Ron, obviously. I mean, is, is it getting better there for you, for you? I mean, can you sort of like see a time? When you're actually going to get proper funding for what you well, actually want to do. Well, that would be great, uh, but uh, I don't know. It's the, like the situation in Argentina is like a bit difficult. Mm. Uh, I mean, like um, the the money they gave to to horror movies or fantastic movies is like more or less the same that they gave to like you know, a drama or a comedy. So or a documentary. Yes. Mm. So it's like you have to you have to manage. It. I mean, you you can make it like a big. Hollywood movie with in Argentina because you don't have the funds. Uh, but I, I think every time, like the people who love horror, uh, doesn't care about that, and they going to do a movie anyway. So the um, the industry is getting better uh, and bigger, but um, it's because of the filmmakers more than the um, than the than the government or the company yes, that gave the money. The passion. Mm -hmm.